to see you all again. Yes, nice to be seen. Indeed. Week five of it the is. <laughs> lingerie and sleepwear week. I didn't know that's how it, it was. Certainly was a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to be hard, didn't we? Straight away, from just the idea of it being lingerie and sleepwear week. Massively so. And something myself and Ting talked about throughout this, it was very much a case of, wow, they do not have enough time at all for all of the things. It's, it was intense this week. It was a really stressful week yeah. for watching it as well. I know we always talk about the edit, but it just seemed that whatever they were making, they all needed an extra half an hour. It wasn't like they needed hours and hours, but they yeah. could have all done with just an extra half an hour. Yeah, massively so. And... It was the first time I felt that that pressure of the time led to mistakes that we, we, all, we all make. So when I did my attempt with the timer, how many times I'd sewed something upside down or back to front. But that was more apparent than ever on this last episode, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Massively. So. There, was no, there was no room oh, for yeah. mistakes. None whatsoever. If you made a mistake, that was it. You were banjax, yeah. basically. No, I've had no experience. There was also... Go on. Oh, I was going to say, there was also no real experience in this episode. Nearly all of them turned around and said, well, I've never yeah. never done this before. I would never have done this. I've never made this. Um, which you could argue was a le more of a level playing field. But I think it, that, that's what made it more stressful as well. Indeed. And I was, about to, so I was just about to say, I, I've got no experience with any type of those fabrics, uh, especially silk or lace. Have you two got anything with that? No. Are you mad? No. They're very hard to work with. They're, they're known to be hard to work with because they're so slippery. And yeah. they can stretch any sort of yeah. extra tension at all. And they can stretch and get out of shape. And... Oh, no, no, thank you. So we go straight in there, knowing it was a, a hard week. We go straight into uh, the pattern challenge with the boned bask. Wow. Yes. I must say, I spent most of that challenge sniggering at all of the terms of boning, etc. I was the biggest <laughs> child in the room. <laughs> so. You were a child on the chat. You were a child. Um, I mean, I that made, would be I hard. made my notes. Go on. Yeah. I made my notes as normal. So um, it was 13 pieces. So you knew it was going to be a nightmare. Um, and they were saying that it was all to do with how you cut and sew those pieces, um, that every uh, seam is crucial uh, because it, uh, whether you're in or out, it, the fit won't go. And the hook and eye is a challenge in itself, let alone the fact that it had to go the full length of the, the bask. So I'd made my notes on what we need to judge it on okay. and then just fell apart watching it. <laughs> so, yes. yeah, I mean, they did that classic thing, didn't they, where they said, oh, well, they'll have to be careful where they don't sew things upside down or back to front. And that's when it all started to happen during the, the, the edit. We saw people doing that. Yes. Poor Therese, she did not have a good start this week at all. She just... I, the first thing I wrote down, I went, oh, poetry is lots of mistakes. Um, she just, <laughs> yes. yeah. But God what do you think that is? Do you think that, because there are so many pattern pieces, is it because there are so many pattern pieces where it's easy to sew one upside down or back to front? Or is it, was it the time element with this challenge? Or both? I think... I think it's all, uh, well, I think it's both, but I think it's always the time element. We've always said that if we were doing this at home, you wouldn't do it in four hours. You'd, you'd do it in like four weeks. You'd, you'd have it all laid out. You'd have it all numbered up. You'd go and make yourself a cup of tea. You'd come back. You'd do one uh, cup and then you might go and have another cup of tea and then you'd come and do, you know. So it, it's that under the pressure of, oh my God, I've got to get this done on top of the fact that there's just bits everywhere. Because as you say, Anya, Therese was having a, a you know real struggle, but she's so experienced. So, but she was still doing it wrong with upside down and back to front. Yeah, but as you said, none of them had experience in doing this particular garment. Oh yes, none of them. Uh, you did say that, didn't you? So Point. the more that they're all experienced sewers, not one of them has yeah. actually created one of these things. Um, and we've seen this. Thought... We've seen lots of these <laughs> mistakes. God love them. Mm. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, the first thing, like I said, they'd said about how crucial the steam allowances were. And um, straight away, they then cut to Peter, who was like, oh, I think I've done my steam allowances um, too big. Mm. And you're thinking, okay, that's going to be a major problem for you, not realising he was then actually going to leave half of his garment on the table. I couldn't believe it. And the fact that he didn't realize until he picked it up to put it on, which I reckon could be very oh, no. easy to done because you can easily put those things to one side. I'll come back to that and then get distracted doing the next thing. And then he picked it up and went, oh yeah, no. And then you think you've got the back on and you just yeah. automatically put the hoop and the, the um, eyes on. And, and next thing you know, it's not big enough. I felt for him, but I yeah. also laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, it felt for him because it would be something that we would all do. You, you felt yeah. that it was more normal because that's, you know, it's just the way it is sometimes, isn't it? We all do it. Yeah. Um, and of course you don't notice until the very last minute no. when there's no, that's it, you're done. <laughs> like there's no way he could have rescued that. No way. Talking about Peter, I did love his jacket that he had, that he was wearing. Did you like, like that? That sort of... Oh, sword. I should have known you'd have picked up on that. Would have just yeah. looked really cool. It's like... Again, that sort of Jedi look, that sort of coming around. Sort yeah, of he's very Star Wars themed, isn't very. he? Very. I don't know whether I'd have a bear <laughs> top underneath, but because um, he yeah. was very, <laughs> wouldn't he? But I, I did like his garment, so that would just point that out. Uh, what about Claire and Nicole using the same fabric? Um, how did you feel those two battled with that sort of jacquard type fabric? Well, they did very, very well with it, and, yeah. and that proved with the, the final judging as well. Um, I think it was, I think it was the right fabric because it had that nice pattern on it, and it it, uh, it seams came together very well. It had enough weight to it, yeah. um, whereas perhaps some of the others, the weight of the fabric went against them. I think it was just a very good choice, and it showed because both of them did so well. Yeah, and they both had the same binding and everything, so it was very matchy matchy. Yeah. Now, the, the, I felt for them on that when it came to doing the hooks and eyes, because there are, there are clearly many layers there. I mean, did Nicole say there was three, three pages on, on the pattern just for hooks and eyes alone? Because you yeah. had to do it upside down, then again, then fold it. I mean, even when they did another little cutaway, uh, visually, didn't they? To, uh, Joe was explaining how the hooks and eyes go on. I, I glazed over halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> That yeah, that's definitely one we're going to have to have watched. It clearly, it clearly was very difficult. Yes. <sighs> Massively but, so. Um, I thought it was really funny. The, they Ali. had done the plackets last week, and mm. that was all that folding back on yeah. itself and everything. So I was kind of hoping that was going to be okay, but it clearly wasn't. <laughs> Go no. on, what were you going to say about Ali? I was going to say, and Ali, she was also struggling this week. And you could tell she sort of was like, I'm going to just cherry pick out what I think are the useful bits. Yes. And she managed to miss out the bit where there should have been something behind the hooks that shouldn't be directly onto your skin. And she was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't see that bit. So <laughs> it's like she picked out a few points, stuck it all on and hoped for the best, basically. I could have sensed that it was, even during this first challenge, it was a bit flat. They were either... Were they all concentrating so hard? They didn't see much footage, you know, much fun, lively footage. They were just getting their head down and sewing. I don't know. I was quite tense throughout. I was actually in the edge of my seat going, oh, yes. my God, are they going to actually finish? I was, I was quite, um, yeah, I, I thought it was actually quite exciting. Ah. <laughs> so some of them didn't finish, did they? Yeah. They didn't finish and to well, I think that was it. Mm. Yeah, there was, this is the first time really, I know mean, we've always had like the odd hem that maybe he's not done, but you know, Teresa's was badly not done yeah. and yeah. Ali looked rough and the others, you know, a couple of them were a bit baggy in places and this was the first time where you thought, hang on a minute, they've really struggled, all of them have really struggled with this. Yeah, the only yes. people that pulled it off were Claire and Nicole. Gotta yes, be honest. They were yeah, the only two that actually finished it off nicely. Yeah, so first and second, you're right there uh, on your Claire and Nicole, Liz third, Mark fourth, Matt fifth, Ali sixth, Teresa and Peter bottom. Yeah. So I did, that... I did think um, that Liz is, I mean, Liz did well, but yeah. I think we said this on the chat as well. I'm just getting a bit fed up of the black. Mm. It, it, it just didn't look, it just didn't look. I mean, it looked fine, it fitted fine, but there was just, just a little electric blue wasn't enough to lift that. 
um, when everyone else had had such lovely pattern fabrics. I mean, I thought Mark's fabric was nice, um, yeah. but unfortunately it was a bit baggy. But the black, I mean, it also hid some of the things because you can't see the seams yeah. and you couldn't see because of the black. She did say she had some experience. She had made some before as well, didn't she? I think she was the only one, if I remember right. Yeah. She said she'd made a, made a couple. And she um, should have used some more pattern material then to demonstrate her skill and mm. pattern matching and whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were very much, I'm just kind of a bit done. She could have, if she, I love a bit of goth, um, but you could have used a lovely dark mm. green or a deep color or deep purple. You know, there's, there are other colors yeah. other than black. Um, it, it was very much edited. I know we talk about the editing a lot. Did you get the feel they were focusing on Therese a lot? You know, it was again, yeah. Therese, oh God, I've done this. Yes. Oh, I've sewn it upside down, ripped again. And that first sequence, I thought they're, they're telling us, right, Therese is going to struggle. Well, to be yeah. fair, Therese's car crash of a bass was worth watching. Right. Everything was going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, very true. <laughs> To be fair, if they'd have been showing me other stuff, I'd have been going, oh, get back over there. Yeah. She's going yeah. mega wrong. <laughs> yeah. And, and of course, that does create the excitement to watch, isn't it? You don't really want to watch someone that's going well because it doesn't yeah. make good telly, does it? So I suppose Therese and Peter, um, yes, right, right to focus on. Maybe that will come when we talk about the end because of obviously who went, that's probably where the, the curveball comes and that's why you're throwing your slipper at the TV because it's like, what? Yeah, but they, they did do a classic editing, which you've mentioned before, where they chuck in a random name. Because yeah. I was like, oh, they've mentioned we'll her name. To and that. I, like, thing. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Joe curse. Right, let's move on to the transformation challenge then. So, yeah. nighty and um, granddad yeah. pajamas. Yeah. Oh my God, they were hideous, <laughs> weren't they? Oh, I know, but some of the not, not what they like made that. just to start off with <laughs> the, the fabrics in those pajamas and nighties was like, no, you're not going to do anything with this. So the brief was to make summer day wear for a woman, yeah, 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 <laughs> which you wouldn't go out in. I'm sorry, that was disgusting. Oh, no. Those fabrics, <laughs> but oh uh, yeah, you wouldn't go out in. But the dungarees, I have to say, Nicole for this, she definitely deserved. Yeah. They were fab. You can't, please. You can't dispute that. No. And to have the time to make the little white blousy top underneath with the, the trimming of the dungarees on the sleeve was phenomenal, wasn't it? Yeah, she really pulled it yeah, out. I think, she got, I think she got lucky with the colours that she got because that didn't look out of place. No. I think if you'd have tried to make that with some of the other pyjamas um, or the other ones there, it wouldn't have looked right. She was, I mean, I'm not... You know, she deserved to win. It was a brilliant piece of sewing, but she got lucky with those pajamas. I think yeah. if she'd have had like the proper granddad's blue ones, they were she wouldn't have been able to do that with them. And I think Peter's, who was also stunning, I think had he not had the granddad blue that looked like a, a, a an NHS outfit at the top, had he had a better <laughs> fabric colour, I think that might have have actually pipped pipped Nicole. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Well, maybe. Well, I don't know, because Nicole did two pieces. She actually had the dungarees and the blouse, so it wasn't yeah. just a... Yeah, true. Um, yeah, but she had to do the blouse, or otherwise she wouldn't have used the nighty. That was... Ah, and then yeah. that would have put her right in the bottom, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what, which is what happened, Liz. Indeed. She only used a tiny yeah. bit of one yeah. of the... Liz's just was the, 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 the little frill, wasn't it? Yeah. And it looked weird putting the frill down the front. Yeah. It was clearly a last minute. Oh, sugar, I've not actually <laughs> yeah. used the thing. I better use the thing. So, yeah, it wasn't great. Now, it was, I mean, Ali in the first task kind of got away with it. But in this one, you were kind of looking at it going, this is bad. What are you doing, woman? This, uh, for you, who had done so well in all the other weeks, and she'd pulled off some good transformation challenges before, um, the shirt was just bad and the fit was just bad. Yeah. I was like, I just wrote down loose and very weird. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, understand, I understand the top using the it was obviously the pajamas top that they gave that that nice sort of seam edge. But what happened? Did she just spend all time on that and then forgot about the skirt? Oh. Well, I don't know. I mean the same went for Therese as well, who she 
got that dark navy with the white lace that she put on, but the lace kind of went off to one side and then back again, and and it just hung there. And it was just like, hang on a minute, you've had a really bad, um, you didn't finish your bask. Now you've produced this blue and white monstrosity as well. Um, you know, I think by that time we were kind of like Port Therese is going to be packing up okay. yeah. uh, Benina and off she goes. Yeah. yeah. It was awful. That one was particularly awful. I didn't like, I didn't appreciate either of those, to be honest. But, yeah. No, I mean, it was clearly a very hard challenge, wasn't it? To try yeah. and integrate both of them because a lot of them hadn't integrated both very well. I mean, Claire had hadn't she? She was one that really was very old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, well, you know, it's her style. She, you know, she quite enjoys a bit of vintage. Yeah. Oh, plus cat. Um, Stuart has, has a visitor cat on the screen. Um, but yeah, at least, you know, it is kind of her style. It looked very, it wasn't to my taste, but it demonstrated that she was able to transform something into something else. Yes, yeah, it clearly showed her skills there. I think she is a strong contender, clear, well, there are some strong contenders anyway, but one to, oh, watch it, Damson, uh, to go quite far. Yes, definitely. Well, considering Yeah, how I mean, we haven't seen a lot of Claire. Um, I mean, she's produced some good work and, and everything, and she's been rightly rewarded for that but when you think the amount of time they spent like on people like Therese and in the other weeks the people who've gone out you know Claire's always been chuntering away in the background she's not been making huge mistakes that no. have warranted a lot of screen time so she I think she's going to come into her moment I think yeah yeah she seems to be just getting stronger so I think it's going to be interesting as the weeks progress to see where she comes I, up with I agree now what about Peter's creativity I mean, he is creative, isn't he? Without a doubt. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He Those is big fantastic. sleeves really helped with the judges, I think. Yeah. And that, I love, I, to be honest, that would be a, a blouse I would wear because it's quite funky. It's got that lovely fitted yeah. under the bust and it's got that lovely poofiness. I think I actually did used to have a blouse similar to that back in the day. <laughs> it was, it's quite funky, you know what I mean? It's quite fun and it's got that big... I don't know, it's something yeah. you wear on a night out. Do you know what I mean? Good pair of jeans, nice top, where you go. But it's, I love his creativity. He is very creative on that front. So the end of that round, we had Nicole first, Peter second, yeah. Matt third. The middle lot was Claire fourth, Mark fifth, Ali sixth again, and then rock bottom, Therese and Liz. Yeah. So now at this point... I we, we're thinking it's toast for Therese. I'd written we? down, yeah, I'd written down in my notes, Therese in trouble, question mark. Yeah. Um, you know, she's done some good stuff in previous weeks, uh, but she'd had two bad challenges. Yeah. They've gone yeah. very much unfinished, you know, uh, partly though that was because of the, the hard challenge anyway. Um, yes, uh, and struggled with this this one. And, and then we, that's when we then have that classic case, isn't it, of where they edit, when they talk to the judges, oh, so who's, who's looking in trouble now? And they said, obviously, Therese, and they talked about uh, then Peter, and then the Joe curse comes in, doesn't it? What you were saying on your... Yeah, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Ali... And Joe goes, oh! What about Ali? Yeah. yeah, I sort of sent, I was sending Ting messages, being like, so, look it, they've and mentioned it Just him. like last week, wasn't it? So, yeah. what, what about Hazel? It's like, hang on, you don't need to bring Hazel into this, because <laughs> she's been high up each one. And it's the same with this one, isn't it? Why yeah. bring Hazel, why bring Ali into this, when actually she was six both times out of eight? Not rock bottom. <laughs> No, but but to be fair though, she hadn't been yeah, she hadn't been no. great. No, she hadn't been good. No, no, no true. But and the only reason Liz was at the bottom was because she didn't use both nighties. So mm. you know, it wasn't her. So it was more you didn't use everything you were supposed to. You didn't fill the brief. Um, but it sort of made you go into the last the tra the uh, made to measure challenge thinking, oh right. Do we now, uh, you know, if you're an Ali fan, you're now a bit worried now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, very yes, much so. very. 
So you, you, your blood was starting to boil, was it, Ting, at this point? <laughs> or were you just like... Well, no, because... We're, well, I mean, obviously, we were aware of now what has become known as the Joe curse. I think yeah. we need to start that as a hashtag. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was that thing of, like, oh, hang on, this is what he did last week. But yeah. still at the back of my mind, Therese had, had a shocking week. Yeah. And I thought, Ali's has not been good, but Therese's has been a lot worse. Yeah. Now... In this next challenge, all credit to her, she pulled it out of the bag and they said she'd have to sew a perfect uh, garment, which yeah. there's an argument that maybe she did that. But, you know, was that really enough after the horrific... Me I mean, she yeah. was way below Ali on those first two challenges. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and was that really enough to say, well, she did all right in one challenge? Um, but well, to but be fair, that was the argument we had about Hazel. Last yeah, week. but Ali, Ali was kind of a bit meh all the way through and not particularly great. And then for her final challenge, just everything, no. Like, yeah. hard, let's, no. let's go it on just, to that. You so can see it slipping. Mm. Yeah. Let's go on to that. The made to measure round, two piece sleep set. What were the um, judges absolutely looking for on this one, Ting? Well, I said, well, I wrote down that it could be a trouser or a knicker, so they could have chosen either. Um, and that they were looking really at jerseys, cottons, or silks. Now, we didn't have anyone veer away from that, um, I think, other than Mark with his wincy oh, yeah. Um And that if they were going to use lace, there needed to be a nice balance. Now, that's an important point to come back to when you see Nicole's. Um, but that was all they really said. Um, so, you know, it gave them a bit more choice over... Yeah. You know, was it going to be a full pyjama or, you know, with the little cami knicker type yeah. thing and how long the top was going to be? So you thought, well, we, we might get more variety. Last week with the tennis outfits, there were really only two or three designs. Yeah. Where here, we got a full look at what you could have. Yeah. Yeah. And there was, there was some variety. There was a wee bit of sameness where there was a lot of camisole and shorts. Yeah. There was a lot of that. Um, I just loved, I just loved writing everything down um, of the fabric because instead of just hearing, oh, they're using cotton or jersey or whatever. So we had charmeuse fabric for Matt. We had lace flounce for Nicole. We had bias cut silk, wincyette, um, and then scalloped lace and cotton lawn. I still don't know what that is. Um, and then jersey. I was like, well, hang on a minute. With jersey, that's a bit common compared to all of those fabrics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it, it was the downfall as well. That co that jersey. Oh, it was, oh, bless. Oh, yeah, and that's well, that's, all of them. I mean, even the bias cut silk. You just can see that running away <laughs> as they try to sew it. Yeah, and, and that did, didn't it? And that, and that uh, did with some of them with with the silk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, per Ali, she had a mix, and it they just did not work. Bless it all, kind of because hers got stretched, didn't it? Uh, some of the panels got yeah, stretched, yeah. And, and I think that's and where her, her fitting went wrong. And yeah, those leopard print bits on the side there, I think didn't um, Esme say it was what it was a bit. There was a bit. They just didn't lay flat. Yeah, it didn't lay at all. So when she was sewing it, it got stretched and out of place. And but I love the design of it. I mean, I know she always likes her leopard print, but. I actually thought that was a clever style, putting those little bits of leopard print in there. Did you not think? Yeah. Or animal? Yeah, if, it, if it had worked, it would have been yeah. beautiful. It would have been really nice. Yeah. But she went from it being too big fitting to too small fitting on the top as well, which was a bit of a shame. And you got um, a feel for her when she cut into the fabric and. Oh no! Oh, that's pressure. That's got to be. And that's again a at home, you would just sling it in the corner and go back like a week later and sort it out, um, where she had to do something to try and cover that hole. <laughs> yeah, very much so. And that's, yeah. that is the thing with fabric as well. And I find that, in from the shop point of view, very overwhelming with cotton, with cotton lawn, as you say, cotton quilting cotton, uh, a rayon uh, and cotton poplin. There are so many different types of cotton, which are ultimately all about the weave, isn't it? On how yeah. thick the weave is and how thin yeah. it is to how it drapes. Um, certainly, uh, I don't know much difference, but I know what the pop pop poplin is, but I don't know much about lawn, where the lawn is even lighter than poplin. Maybe someone can tell us in the comments below um, mm. about 
cotton lawn because it sounds so lovely doesn't it cotton lawn <laughs> i don't know it sounds a little bit strange <laughs> they're not as cool as wince yet oh i love <laughs> i to be i me and Teng, we were chatting per you you missed on the chat when we were chatting during it and he's like what is going on and i was like i don't know i quite like it it looks like it'll be snuggly and warm and cozy because <laughs> i am generally freezing <laughs> overnight time so i was like that's perfect for me i would be all toasty and snug and but yeah it was it was I quite mean, he got away <laughs> He got away with that because the look came together well. Yes. Um, yeah. He went for the, the whole look of that kind of Victoriana, you know, type thing, early yeah. 1920s perhaps, um, look with the little cap and the lace and everything. And it all came together. And I thought, oh, they're going to hate this. But actually, as Patrick said, you know, it, it, it all come together very well and it actually works. And Patrick um, so I think he, he did quite well with that. Patrick did say he liked Winsiet fabric anyway, so maybe that was always yeah. going to work in his favour. Yeah, a bit of bias there, or you know, from the start. So indeed. Um, no, well, maybe, I mean, the, sorry. The trouble with Winsiet is it is thicker than all of yeah. those other fabrics. Yeah. So it just doesn't drape in the same way. So Mark had to get it right, or otherwise it would have looked awful. I mean, if he'd have just done that as a nighty, that would have just hung there. Uh, because of the weight of the fabric so the fact that he was able to sculpt it yeah. as he did i think that's what got him through yeah but, but it, was that clever choice then if you're in that situation they must get the brief the week before i mean perhaps janet can give us a bit more information on this because they have the week to practice don't they would you think right all right i'm in a competition i actually still want to win i'm not going to play around with silk because it's i'm not very good at it it's too slippery so was that just clever thinking from mark it could be but, it might also, been. but manipulating thicker fabrics is also a trial in itself right so it's it's not yeah. as easy to get through your machine no. you could have possible issues with that sort of thing so True, yeah, but it's, it's it's still got to. I think maybe there's you've got more control. That's the key, I think, with a thicker fabric, haven't you? So maybe you're you're not going to yeah, move I think, much on the seams or stretch it like many of them did at the bottom and had wavy. No, and he's 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 made his own clothes. He's made men's clothes. You know, trouser material is thicker. He's made overcoats. You know, that's thicker material so if he's if he feels more comfortable working with that thicker material then that was probably a very wise thing to do because if you've never really used silk the last thing you want to be doing is trying to do what ali was doing and and stretching it all out of place yeah that's it he played to his strengths and he he did what he knew he could do well basically um liz another black number yeah hers was stretched <laughs> as well it was, but it, to be fair to her, it actually, it was a good fit. It was a good sew. It was stretched, yeah. but it was really, there was nothing outstanding about it because it was another black garment. Yeah, you know? I think Esme sort of summed it up, didn't she? She said, oh, it's casual and quite cool. It, that, yeah. that, that's kind of all it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it looked what? comfy. It, you know, it looked like it would be nice to wear, but... I don't know, it seemed to be just missing. It's supposed to be your standout piece for the week. And yeah. it's, I don't know, for yeah. me, it's just lacking a bit of woohoo or, you know. And maybe the same for Matt's, that navy number. Did it seem Matt's was very heavy, top heavy? Yeah. With all that dark yeah. lace. He, the the lace it. was just too much up here. Yeah, massively. So it, it made, it almost emphasized, it made her, the bust look bigger than it mm. actually was and Oh, and also yeah. couldn't really see the lace either. No. It was just it was hard bit... to see any definition. Yeah, I think, did he panic to start with? Because am I thinking back right that um, he was worried that his lace was very see-through? So I wonder, did he then read um, it a bit so it, it wasn't as see-through? Yeah, but he, he did, he'd only put it on, on the top. He put it over the top of the blue material. Um, and if you remember, the main problem with Matt is he'd done his straps too big and the whole thing was then too hanging too low. And he was like, oh, I think it's about an inch out. And Patrick was like, it's more like six inches because oh, the whole thing not, needed to be lifted up. Was that not Nicole? Nicole, no, I thought that was Matt. Oh, no, Nicole, the Nicole straps, had the strap. baby doll. 
Yeah, no, Ting, you're, you're talking about Nicole there. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, yeah. that had all that lace on it as well. I mean, that was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. If she had to pull that off, that's another one that if it had been finished well, it would have been fabulous. But because the their straps were off, it didn't hang right. Would and you... they looked heavy and the hem wasn't done. And Yeah, but would you have worn it, Anya? Because there was all of that heavy lace over this, you know, silky material. You just thought, well... For nightwear, that looked uncomfortable. I mean, it looked horrific, but I mean, it looked uncomfortable as well. There was too much of what looked like quite thick lace there. You might, yeah, yeah. Hot. Yeah, but to be honest, uh, and maybe it's just my opinion as a woman, a lot of that silky stuff is not particularly comfortable to wear to bed either. Um, you just end up, it ends no. up twisted and you end up it's half everywhere. strangled by it if it, it isn't a perfectly good fit. <laughs> So, like, it's not going to be, you know, it's not meant for sleeping in. It's supposed to make you look good. Yeah. I think it's one of them. Well, but that stuff, hers ended up looking like a maternity top, in my opinion. Yeah. I looked at it and went, yes. it looks like you're hiding a bump. And that's and it what wasn't it was. until they that's turned it to the side like, and pulled up the straps at the back. It, then you saw that baby doll look then, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. If she, that's what I mean. If she'd pulled it off right, it would have been a lovely baby doll outfit. So to speak, you know, like but when I think of when I think of like that baby doll look, um, you know, we're talking like 1950s type thing where actually instead of that thick, heavy lace, it was always that kind of like thin, voily type material. And then the lace was round the bottom or, you know, there was maybe some marabou round the feathers around the bottom. Think Doris Day in, in like yeah. pillow talk and things yeah. like that. Not yeah. heavy lace all the way down that looked like the model was going down with it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I think that's right. I think she did overdo it. The lace was, was too heavy. It just didn't. I think she would have done better, as you said, to maybe add it to the bottom and I love the colours. I really appreciated the colours. Yeah. Um, it just didn't work for Nicole on this particular occasion. Now, during this challenge, we could clearly see Therese was, was in her element. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. She went with a sensible option, a good cotton material and... With just a little lace yeah. trim. Yeah. That, that was talk, one of the few. I love about... my, that looks comfy. I'd wear that one. Yeah. Good you thing. talk about Mark choosing the right material. Therese did the right thing as well. She's yeah. used to making children's clothes out of cotton, other things out of cotton. So I'm going to choose a cotton that I know I can make into a nice pyjama, sleep set, whatever. Yeah. And she was able to finish it off really nicely with that bit of lace trim oh. and got the fit really good. I think it was really good sewing. And, and good thinking of being in a competition, playing to your strengths and actually what will work in that time because yeah. it, it was a little, lit, lots of little bits of lace, but then easy to manage. Yeah. And that's, it's, that's the sort of things you do to accentuate and to make it look good. Yeah. And it's that wee bit of detail rather yeah. than throwing all the lace at it and yeah. drowning it, you know? Um, yeah. Because what I find quite interesting with this trans uh, made to measure challenge, they don't they they don't officially judge it, you know, top to bottom like they do round one and round two. So you are kind of you, wondering where everybody is. Indeed, yeah. Somebody yeah. I was surprised with, I should flag, was Claire's. Claire's was a bit too tight on the top, and then the shorts were massive. Yeah. Like the shorts were ginormous. Yeah. I, mean, I wonder why. Went from what I have no idea. I was really, because Claire's generally pretty solid, because the top was too tight. And then, because maybe the top was too tight, it made the now, shorts look even bigger. I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, that didn't help. But as I made a note here, um, Claire, part of that for Claire was a problem because her and Therese both used French seams on their work. Um, oh, yes. And I've had a go at that yesterday because I'm, I'm going to make a, a bag and I wanted to enclose the seams. And I think she was just, she was doing so well. And then she did the French seam, which then takes more out of your seam allowance. And if you, if you haven't quite got that right, that's going to eat into the body of the, doc, uh, of the yes. um, whole garment. And that's what Good happened. She, she, she was trying to keep it nice and neat and on the inside. And I think she ate too much into the garment. 
Yeah, I, I remember now, you're right. They did talk about that. You've got to be careful, French teams, because if you go wrong, when you unpick it, you've got to double, obviously, unpick, and it's yeah. harder. Yeah, and there's just no point. Once you've made, if you go wrong, that's it. You know, you don't have the time to undo both, yeah. it seems. But still, that doesn't explain the ginormous shorts. They were... No, no. <laughs> Well, maybe she did the French seams on the top and then decided not to on the shorts and all the seam allowance went into them. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Did you have any, though, that you were like, yeah, I love that one. I, I, I you know, just I, from your own personal um, preference. I think for me, Trey's and Mark's were my favourites. They both loved comfy and snuggly and something I would yeah. wear in They were my favourites. I'm just <laughs> looking at my notes and... I've put Mark is very stylized with good skills. I've got Therese's looked great. I've got Lizzie's. I've put looked okay, but I was, you know, the whole thing yeah. with the black again was against yeah. her on that. But everyone else, I've written down something that was like majorly wrong. Yeah, Ali, God love her. When they finally said that it was herself that was going home, it was like, well, yeah, once you see it, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, it look, didn't it's, look great. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, I did think that, I did think that Matt, Matt was going to go um, because he'd struggled on the other, you know, Therese and him had struggled yeah. and Therese had clearly pulled it out of the bag. And I just hadn't really thought much about the whole alley thing. It had yeah. kind of gone because of the whirlwind of that round. And yeah. I thought, yeah, Therese has saved herself. He was quite bad. It wouldn't surprise me if he went home. So it was still annoying when she went. Yeah. And I, also with the, with the program, you need you need one great make to keep you in the safe zone. She yeah. didn't have one great make, so yeah. because she was that sort of second from bottom each time, uh, and, and that's how Liz got away with it, wasn't it? Because Liz on the, on the previous episode, two episodes before, yeah. Uh, yeah, she was rock bottom, rock bottom, then suddenly a great make to push her up top. You need yeah. you need at least one great make to keep you safe, really, don't you? Yeah, very much so. Uh, garment of the week, Therese's sleep set. What did you think? Yeah, it was fine. I would have liked to see the win yet myself. I would have, I would have been so pleased <laughs> if Mark had won because I love it. I wanted it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was fair enough with Therese. It was, it was, it is what it is. You know, it was, yeah. it was well finished. It was well sewn. It was a good fit. So we've yeah. gone now from losing Ali down to seven. So we will have um, Claire, Nicole, Liz, Mark, Matt, Therese and Peter left. Seven left. Try and judge two or three people who we think we may lose. I think Matt has to be careful. I think he hasn't been outstanding. Yeah. Um, I think he might possibly... I like him and I like some of the stuff he's produced is lovely, but I'm wondering if he is going to last very much longer. Yeah. He's not had a garment like of the him. week or anything top yet, I don't think, uh, from my no. notes. And it's the no. same with Therese. Um, yeah, I was going to say, after the whole alley thing this week, um, if you think next week is the recycle, reuse week, so they're going to have to be a bit creative there. And I don't know if Therese has got that when you think about what happened this week and a couple of the other things she's done. So the whole concept of next week might be too much for her. Yeah. And Matt doesn't seem to, to do particularly well with those challenges either. Um, so Whereas Peter is very good at the whole draping thing and he'll yeah. be quite good at the, with the recycling stuff, I would have thought. So Matt could be a potential one to lose. Therese just might be because she's so up and down, up and down, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I worry, this? I worry for Mark because he is a good sewer, but he's not necessarily an outstanding sewer. And yeah. I think a bit like Ali and even Hazel last week, if he just stumbles... Yeah. That could put him, you know, in one or two of the challenges, whether that's next week or the week after, that could be another one that's very quickly, and he's got some good skills, but that could very quickly go home. And yeah. I'd quite like to see him go a bit further, but we'll have to wait and see. that with Claire as well. We've noticed with Claire's final challenge, when she, when she made those mistakes, it just came out so bad. Mm. 
Like it wasn't a great so yeah. for her final challenge, but she has a lot of good skills. So it'll be interesting to see how she gets on with the reuse. I'm also concerned about Liz. Yeah. It'll be interesting yeah. to see how she gets on. Yeah, she's she needs to up her designs. I'm getting sick and tired of this gothy '90s look. I know that's clearly a look that works for her, and she knows yeah. what she's doing with it. But she's got to show some versatility. I'm I'm afraid. Yeah, if nothing else, but just to keep Ting happy, like she needs to do some more. <laughs> Overall favourites, have you got? Just, your... just not black. Yeah. Yes, that's what I think. Yeah. Have you got? Um, as your. I know we talked right at the beginning about you, you, who, who your possible favourites are. Do you have a, an outright favourite now who you're like, I want them to win? I'm kind of still backing Nicole. I think I quite enjoy her stuff. I quite enjoy Peter's stuff when he does what he's supposed to do. You know, like with the tennis skirt, I'm still a bit annoyed that he did the, the we made up his own thing with that. But he is quite creative. Yeah. Um, and I think I also just quite enjoy Nicole's style as well. When she pulls it off, it's actually quite nice. Okay. Um, Ting? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> the slipper arced through the air this week because Ali had been my favourite. Um, but I still like Mark. Um, I yeah. think he's got some good ideas. Um, and I do like Claire because I actually quite like the whole yeah. 40s look. Um, yeah. She's just got to be careful. I mean, I didn't like that fabric she chose last week with the science stuff. Um, she's just got to be careful she doesn't get too quirky. Mm. Um, but I think she's got some good sewing skills. She showed that this week because she also cut her garment on the bias and sewed hers together perfectly. And Ali did the same and got it horribly wrong. So she's shown she can cope with all of these fabrics. So for me, I'd like, you know, perhaps Mark and, and Claire to be heading towards the final. Mm. But there yeah. are some other good Great. sewers there. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to mention I quite enjoy Mark as well. I quite enjoy his things. It's 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 actually going to be tough for that when we finally get down to our final three for the final, who who they will be because actually when you think about it at the moment that it could be any of those, you know, after maybe yeah. next week, any four yeah. or five of them in that final three. Yeah. Which who, I agree. Who, I like Claire, I like yeah. Claire a lot now. Yeah. Yeah, it will be interesting. I want to just say, can we just make sure we highlight the fact that Ting said we don't want her to get too quirky because we'll be not given out about the fact that Nicole was all full of creativity and now she's not as creative and we're not as bothered. So, you know, just just, just bear that in mind. We want some <laughs> individuality. Right. Yes, I think that's, yeah. Cool. Say, that's all the excitement. Make sure everybody, make sure you let us know down below. Who are your favourites? Who do you see making it to the final and who do you think is not going to quite make it? Let us know. Yeah, definitely. And we'll I'm trying to reply to comments, uh, so it's always good to hear what other people say. Yeah, you I'm know, sorry, well, I've been awful, I keep forgetting. I love seeing all your, your replies and, and, and what people are saying. It's really, really good. I'm trying to build up a fan base and I'll break off and do my own version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll get hundreds. Yeah, the Ting cult. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's important you've got to have that. A nice conversation this week. A nice conversation about Terry Towling this week. Um, I was quite disappointed it didn't turn up in the sleepwear challenge because that's where it deserves to be, not on Nicole's shorts. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it would return in the 80s week, surely, with our little sweatbands and our... Uh, I, was gonna, yeah, I, might make, oh, I might make this little sweatband. I think oh, you can pull it off. <laughs> I can do a little <laughs> one all the way across it. <laughs> uh, always a pleasure, everyone, and see you next week then. See you next week. Bye. Yeah. Ooh, hopefully, Bye. hopefully with Janet. <gasps> <gasps> oh. <laughs>